Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Crawled on the Banksters, and we are live. Thomas, it's up for grabs now! Thomas! Right at the end! Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Crawled on the Bancers on this lovely, sunny Wednesday early evening or wherever you are. Could be morning, night. I hope everyone's well. Welcome to everyone in the chat for this Lee versus Terry 2. And this time, this time we've got a lovely referee. We would have liked to have had the big man here himself, but... You know, we've got we've got a good looking boy here in Diesel. How are you doing, Diesel? I hope you're well, mate. <laughs> yeah, mate, listen, this is gonna be the easiest stream I've ever done. Um, <laughs> hello to everybody. I hope you are well. Always, always good having LG on the channel. Come on. Yeah, um, but yeah, listen, um, guys, I've seen I've seen some of the comments, and just to be clear, um, I've got a feeling Lee's not gonna need my help tonight. So anyone who thinks it's gonna be a two on one, um, yeah. it's not, I will be impartial. Poor Terry. Poor Terry. <laughs> I'll just be reading, reading, obviously, comments or if there's any super chats or whatever. So, yeah, I've, I've got the easy job tonight. Um, so, yeah, I'll just I'll leave it to you two. But, yeah, uh, big up to everybody for watching. Um, like, subscribe, share, as per usual, guys. Come and you know what to do. And also subscribe to uh, Lee as well. And for everyone who, who didn't watch uh, the um, quite emotional uh, show yesterday, really, it was really nice. Claude's dad and uh, and Claude's daughter on as well. So if you haven't seen it, please go and watch it. Um, it was a right family one last night, and I, I I love a bit of family. I love all that. Um, so yeah, absolute pleasure, Aldo. If you're watching, really uh, grateful that you came on, and ho hope to have you on again soon. <laughs> Who knows, an Italian watch along, eh? Let's do that. But um, <laughs> yeah, that's me. I'm just going to go and get my popcorn and my coke, and I'm going to uh, sit back and enjoy the night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, first of all, I just want to say, Lee, thanks again for coming on again, mate. Really appreciate it. No, come on, you. always, man. Always, always, man. And, uh, come on. I just want to say a big shout out to Aldo and um, Leanne last night. Absolutely fantastic stream. Like Diesel said, if you didn't watch it, please go and give it a watch. Aldo was a superstar, um, and can't wait to have him on again, as well as Leanne. Absolute diamond of the family. And uh, looking forward to doing a lot more with them. So, um, yeah, go and give that a watch. And please always hit the like button. Um, help us out. Get as many likes as we possibly can. It always helps out. And even if the people out there that don't even want to watch us, that always got a bad word to say about us, hit the dislike button. It does not matter. <laughs> you know I mean? it's still well. Because I know you watch us because you, you, you put silly status out um, on the Jeremy Carl platform instead of coming to the horse's mouth. So, in in future, just come to you with math if you've got a question, and we'll give you the answer to it. Yeah, that's the only thing I'm going to say about that. But, um, Lee, yeah, you want to get started, mate? Yeah, eight, you want to start? Eight, two seasons in a row, mm -hmm. um, out of Europe, first time in 25 years. What more can I say? Like, honestly, like, I don't know how anyone thinks this guy's the man, like. At the end of the day, I heard you say yesterday on the stream last night that about Ancelotti. Oh, but he needs money to do it. He need it, it need money. You can't just put a manager in and expect him not to do anything with like without money. Okay, well, tell me how Chelsea finished in the top four and won the Champions League when he was there four months. Yeah, and people will say they've got a better squad. Well, that squad was underperforming by a manager who was obviously more qualified than Arteta, but he was still a rookie. As soon as they went and got a proper manager in with the same squad that was sat ninth, 
f- four points ahead of us in 15th, by the way. Um, for five games, we were 15th. Whilst he was sat at home, too cool. And, uh, and then Lampard gets potted, and all of a sudden, they can see two goals in 21 games or something stupid and end up winning the Champions League, losing the FA Cup final and getting fourth. You know, Ancelotti, I don't know what people expected him to do at Everton, but he won't get in top four. Like, so, and if you look at their squad pound for pound compared to us, we're miles better than them. You know, Alex Awobi, like, come on. Yeah, Seamus Coleman, would anyone want him? No. Luca Dean, decent. You know, so, you know, they've got some good players in their team, Everton, but nobody wanted the Corey. Nobody wanted Allen. Nobody wanted James Rodriguez. Yeah, apparently he was washed up. Um, not that I rate him. Um, would anyone have signed Godfrey? No, that would have been, oh, well, we're signing Godfrey. You know, and I just look at it and I think, like, we can take other teams out of the equation for a minute, yeah? At the end of the day, he hasn't picked the st- same starting. Year. We had 30, uh, 38 games last season. We had 37 different starting 11s. If that don't tell you, you ain't got a Scooby what he's doing. Yeah, and people say, but there's injuries, there's this, there's that. Cool. Well, I'm sorry, there ain't injuries every game. You know, he doesn't know what he's doing. There's no game plan against Liverpool. I didn't even see Liverpool's um, penalty box. We were camped in our own for the whole game. You know, he's killed off one of the best strikers in Europe in Aubameyang by playing him left wing. Martinelli can't even get a game. Even when we're winning a game comfortably, which is rare, he still can't get a game. Saka is played in about eight different positions. Nicola Pepe ended up with the most goals and assists at the football club this season. Um and played half the minutes of Bakayo Sakuru, one player of the season. You've then got um, Smith Rowe, who fell in his lap. William, he's played constantly. El Nenny's played more minutes than most of our team. I don't get it. Is it like, I genuinely don't get what anyone sees in this bloke. He ain't good enough. And I'll tell you something now, the goalposts have changed every single week with this bloke. So it started off with, oh yeah, but he sat next to Pep. Yeah, whoopee do. Steve Bolt should have got the job then because he sat next to Wenger for six years. You know, then it went to, oh, but now we're in COVID times. Yeah, and it, he, he came in halfway through a season. No, no, he didn't. Like, he came in December, the same time as David Moyes came in. That's not halfway. That's actually 13, I think it was 16 games in or saying 18 games in. I don't think it was 18, 18 games. I think it was 15 games that he had, um, that he had missed. David Moyes. Yeah, it came in a week after him. Ancelotti came in at the same time as him. They both got the job, I think, and their first game was against each other. Yeah, and like, you know, I just, I find it amazing. Then after that, it's, oh, but he's won the FA Cup. You're all eating your words. Well, an FA Cup didn't fool me. I said it on the day of winning it. Don't fool me. Then it's, oh yeah, now we've got to go shopping. Oh, it's all on Stan. It's all on Stan. Then it's, oh, well, um, I'll tell you what. Yeah, but, you know, he hasn't had a pre-season. Why is there so many excuses? Then add on top of that, and I'll wrap up by saying this, right? Add on top of that, I have never seen a manager, coach, whatever you want to call this guy, I've never seen anyone in world football in my lifetime ever get so many ex-players, pundits, and anyone else endorsing him, yeah? Where's this for Lampard? Where's this for Why didn't all the Chelsea players come out and endorse him? I see Daniel Ceballos chatting crap the other day. Oh, he's going to be a world-class manager based on nothing. Like, why does he need endorsement, 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 endorsement? If he's any good, he'd be proving it. You know, people said that this is the best young coach in world football. Yeah? So on that basis, he don't need money to make us better then, does he? Because he would have made us better. Okay. Do you want to do one um, few deeper chats that's come in first, Diesel? There's a few. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, I'm really trying to remain impartially. Right. Um, the signature. Thank you very much, mate, for your super chat. Uh, top man, he's put, Hail Lee, preach. Put this debate to bed once and for all. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, uh, signature. I really appreciate that, mate. And we have another one from and. Ans, Ans94, he's put big up Lee Diesel and Arteta spokesperson. I'm assuming he's <laughs> on the but I could be mistaken. Um, <laughs> thank you very much, Ans. Really appreciate that, mate. And come on, big up DJ Crane. Uh, uh, 2B14, DJ Crane, hope you well, mate. He's put Terry doesn't rate Southgate with England, but rates Arteta with Arsenal. How far would Mikel Arteta get with England? Would Terry want, want him out then? Club before country, 
Diesel looking thin, steak and chips on me. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Craig, comments like that that make me keep going to the gym, mate. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. You don't need to really go to the gym. Appreciate that. Oh, Top man. man. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you very, very much. much. I appreciate that. Look, for me, um, I think everyone knows I'm an Arteta fan. Wanted him in from the start. Um, it did for me, it didn't matter what manager come in, even though I wanted Arteta in. Did not matter what manager come in, even if it was Ancelotti, even uh, Mourinho, whoever it was. For me, I would have, as I said it from the start, they needed two years um, to start getting rid of the shit, getting our club sorted out from the bottom upwards. Because for me, that's that's the level I got to. That's what I'm saying. We've all got our breaking points, all different breaking points, all different, you know what I mean, opinions and God knows what. But for me, as a as an Arsenal fan, I reached a bottom. Um, the club was going in in a totally different direction. We were selling players, our best players, for nothing. We're not even selling them. We was getting rid of them for nothing. We was we was letting players run down their contracts for nothing, so we couldn't get any money. We weren't signing up our youngsters. We was all moaning about Gazidis. We was all moaning about um, the Emery. Some of us was and Wenger before that. Our, our club was going completely in the wrong direction. So for me, it did not matter what manager came in. He he, he needed two years because for me, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not going to sit here and lie. I know Arsenal ain't Chelsea. I know they're not Man City. You know what I mean? We haven't we haven't got the directors or the board that will say right yeah, we get rid of a manager and you know we we'll see how he does in six months. If he's, if he's no good, we get rid of him and we start over again and again and again. We we, we haven't been not at. We've never been not as a club. So I'm not going to sit here and lie to myself and say, well yeah, let, let's keep getting managers in until we find the right one because that's never going to happen, right? Um, like I said. We uh, players was all getting sold. They wasn't good enough anyway. Let's be honest. Since since a lot of people, all the I say art uh, art people, you know what I mean, keep saying that we're still the Arsenal. We're still a massive club. Of course we are. Of course we are. But if you look at um, across the board, all other fans across the, everyone's laughing at us because we're not that Arsenal anymore. We're a mediocre team at the moment. Our squad has gone backwards. You know what I mean? From that from that team that we had. When Winger was there, that after we'd done that undefeated um, season, it took him one season to absolutely deplete it and get rid of all them players. We didn't get players like for like, like Chelsea do, like uh, Man City do, like Liverpool do and all things like that. We've not done that. We've not done that for years. We've been going backwards and backwards and backwards. Right? So I wanted a coach to come in. Yes, I'll say Arteta because I see what he was doing at Man City. I see that um, players were saying how good he's going to be. I see managers saying how good he's going to be. <laughs> Um, I wanted the manager to come in and absolutely take us from rock bottom and build us back up again. I didn't want a manager like Ancelotti, like Mourinho or any of them to come in, possibly do two years, hope for the best and hope that they get us in the top four or win something. And then obviously a better job comes along, like what's happened to Ancelotti at Everton now. And obviously he's gone to Real Madrid and then puts us back in the shit again. I did not want that personally. That's what that, that's just me. I'm not saying that's Lee. I'm not saying that's Diesel. I'm not saying that's anyone else in the chat. What I need, what, what, what I wanted and what I needed was someone to come in and start us again, re, hit the reset button. And for me, that's what's happened. I said Arteta would come in. I said that uh, it would take two years to get rid of all the dead wood, which has come true. I said it would take a long time for us to get rid of Ozil. I didn't, no one, none of us thought Ozil would have gone six months later. Yes, I know that he's gone and we're paying some of his wages, but fucking hell, who cares? He's gone. We know he's gone. That's it. We know that come the come now, he's no he's nothing to do with Arsenal. That's it. He's done. Um, it looks like we're getting rid of Bellerin. Hopefully, it looks like we're getting rid of Shaka. Looks like we're getting rid of a few others. So by the end of this transfer window, all the Deadwood players will be gone. So for me, we'll be starting from afresh, basically. We'll be starting from afresh. Everything that I wanted to happen and I said will happen, even before when we had this conversation, Lee. Is that, you know I mean? I said that, you know, it will take time to get rid of these players. We are not a team. Arsenal are not a team. Let's be real. We can all sit here and lie if we want to lie. But Arsenal are not a team that will sell five, six players and then go and replace them with five, six players. We're not that team. If anyone wants to sit there and lie to themselves, then, yeah, you can do that. OK, so let, me, let, me, let me stop you there. One second, right? So I want a couple, a couple of things I want to come back at you on, right? Number one, you said we're not the Chelsea's, we're not the Man City's, yeah? We've outspent Chelsea last six seasons. Fact. Yeah, people are saying, oh, but they've done 200 million last summer. They didn't do 200 million last summer. Yeah. 
because they didn't they didn't have a transfer window for two transfer windows, right? They also sold Eden Hazard for a hundred million and Morata for fifty. Yeah. So they they actually only spent. And then if you add in all the youth team that they sent out, they probably spent about twenty million quid, right? Difference is their recruitment team, yeah, are ruthless. Right, Arzain. And the reason Arzain is because they've held on to Wenger's coattails for so long that they've allowed themselves yeah. to be mugged off. Then you said you said um you wanted somebody to come in and it was going to be a two year like two year clear out mission. Why weren't that guy Emery then? Well, he, did, he didn't start it, did he? He didn't start it. When he came we in, we still had all these okay, players. Hold, hold on. He, 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 came in, he came in, he got rid of Koscielny, yeah. Monreal, mm -hmm. yeah, Petacek. Yeah. Kachelny wanted yeah. to go and Monreal basically wanted to go at all. <laughs> they, they wanted to Monreal go would have happily stayed. He got rid of Jenkinson. There's four. You said that he did. Um, we we weren't bringing in youth and signing the youth up, you said, yeah? Funny, yeah. because he gave Smith Rowe his debut. He gave Saka his debut. He signed Martinelli. He signed Salama. He played Maitland-Niles constantly. Everyone keeps giving Emery this, this greatness of he played yeah. him. Why didn't he play him all the time? Why didn't he play him in the final when we got embarrassed? Why did he play in the final? I'm glad you brought the final up, my friend. Have you, <laughs> have you, I am so glad you brought that final up. Have you Go seen on. the squad for that final? Yeah, I've seen the squad for that final. How Good can squad. you say? How can you say that we're better now? Uh, sorry, how can you say? Um, how can you say? Yeah, that fucking we're getting rid of all the dead wood. By the way, we've actually actually paid Ozil, Mustafi, and Socrates to leave. We had to yeah. pay him. So when you said about yeah. players leaving for free. We've actually paid these players to leave under this manager. No one else wants them. No one else wants them. Well, how do we're, you know we're, that? We're, we're having to pay them because if someone wanted them, they come in, Lee. Come on, let's be honest. If they okay, wanted so on them, that, so they're on that basis, then, yeah? five or six million. Let's so be on honest. that basis, you're telling me that we couldn't have got a million pounds for Socrates? Well, I, I, I would take anything. That's what I mean. I'll take anything to get rid of them. Yeah, but so instead we had to pay him to leave. But, but but why ain't the so now we've not got that money and we've had to pay that guy? But that was happening with Ramsey and Wilkshire and all them. We didn't know no, they left for free. We didn't have to pay them to leave. They were they were on no, their contract now. We didn't make any money on them under that regime. Okay, under him, we was the one that Ramsey let go, <coughs> let go for free. Yeah, if you have a look at the Europa League final squad, it consists of El Nenny, who's funny enough still here and apparently yeah. not considered dead wood because he'll still be here next season. Um, Rob Holden. Again, yep. signed a new contract. How that guy is even here is a disgrace. Mm -hmm. um, you had a Wobi in the squad, apparently Deadwood. That, that went out on Emery's watch. 40 million quid. He, he got such a tune out of him that he uh, he got 40 million quid for him. Yeah. We had Genduzi absolutely balling to the point where he was in the final running for Golden Boy Award and was valued at the most expensive um, under 21 in world football at the time. To the point now where he's going to sign for Marseille for six million quid because Arteta has absolutely ruined him, treated him like crap, yeah, and fobbed him off. Saliba, 32 million quid, 27, whatever it was. Yeah. Why didn't why didn't we get to see him under this manager? Why do we keep having the goalpost change with Saliba? Oh, but his mum passed away. Tragic as that is, that was used as an excuse for months as to why he won't be played under this manager. Name me. One player under this current manager who's been here for 18 months now, name me one youth team player that's come out of the academy that's not played under Emery, that is his fresh little project that plays on a regular basis. Because he keeps sitting in press conferences saying, oh, well, the foundations of this club are built on the youth and hell end. Name me one player who's played multiple games consistently over a season with us under this manager that's come out of hell end. Don't say Smith, Rose, Sacco and all that. Because they played under Emery. What one has he brought through? Well, there's, there's no Derek, no Kel, sorry, uh, before you answer that, sorry, it's been up here for a while. I'm going to lose it. The McChronicle, uh, thank you very much, mate. Diesel Dinner Fund contribution. I'm getting the impression oh, that you guys think I'm, I'm skinny. Um, and I, I really <laughs> like that. So thank you very much. Uh, so yeah, appreciate that. I'll have a milk tonight. Thanks, a good picture, Diesel. Never trust a camera. But get yeah, going. <laughs> Over to you, Terry. There's, there's, there's a couple of more just come through. You might as well jump on them oh, and uh, get them out of the way, mate. Uh, yeah, uh, King Tony as well. Thank you very much, King Tony. Really appreciate that, mate. He's put tell tells out for the count. Come on, Ref Diesel, call it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. To, to be fair to Terence, you know, he's let's see what he comes out with next. He's got a bit more in him, you know. It's, it's a twelve rounder. 
Uh, loves music. Another one. Thank you very much. Lee the G Gunner. Hey, guys. Yeah. North London is an absolute joke at the moment. Yep. Thank you very much. I agree nice. with that. Um, Another one. Hold on. No, I think that was all of them. I think that was all of them. Yeah, I thought I don't know if that one. I think you've done the one after. That's why. Uh, yeah. Um, I know there was. Yeah, I know. Uh, CG said dinner fundy. I think you've done that. Yeah. Yeah, man. But yeah, he named me one youth team player. He has brought through from the academy after he's kept saying all season and the whole time he's been here, right? Which, by the way, would save us a fortune. Yeah, on going out and spending massive money, which we now haven't got. We know. So. Name me a player, and don't say Balogun because he's played twice for the club or three times for the club. And one of them, he came off the bench um, and was on the pitch 38 seconds and scored. Yeah? yeah. Then we see him again a couple of weeks later, he scored. Then we see him come off the bench against Man City for about four minutes, if that, and we ain't seen him since. Yeah. No, no, look, I can't, I, I can only answer that truthfully. There ain't one at the moment. There ain't one come through. But let's be honest, um, everyone keeps going on about that. You know, this manager is not a manager. He keeps treating all these players all shit and everything like that. Balogun had a chance to go. Had a chance to go because, obviously, Arteta doesn't like him. Doesn't want to play him. Doesn't want yeah. him at this club, right? Yeah. But what's he done? He signed a new five-year deal. Uh, Saka. Yeah, because he knows he'll outlast the manager. Hold up, Saka. Saka could have went. Everyone was looking at him. Liverpool, all these other clubs were looking at him. Yeah. Apparently, he was going to Liverpool. You know what I mean? He was. But what did he do? He signed up to this manager. Smith Rowe, he knows on, ask the manager sell. Smith Rowe on the verge, but you know, what I mean, if you look, same again, he'll like, ask the manager sell. If you if you look at some of these people, what some people will say, it's like, well, they can't have no ambition, then can they? If they want to stay here at Arsenal, we're finishing eighth in two years on the trot under this manager that can't manage. Then obviously they can't they can't have any ambition, and they're going to they're going to be that. Prime example of that down, down in N seventeen. Why has Harry Kane yeah. stayed at Tottenham so long? Because he loves the club. But now it's got to the point where he's in his late 20s, where he's gone, actually, I want to fucking win saying now. Smith yeah. Rowe is an Arsenal boy through and through. Saka's yeah. an Arsenal boy through. Which, by the way, Saka thanked Unai Emery, by the way, um, for giving him his opportunity. Yeah, because he did actually used to play the youth. He used to play Willock as well. Went out and got seven in seven. Um, yeah. Equaling Alan Shearer's record, by the way. That ain't no mean feat. And it's like, I look here and you think, but hang on a minute. We paid so much money for Saliba that Emery signed, got sacked, yeah, and we haven't seen him kick a ball for us apart from 45 minutes against MK Dons. Wow. Yeah, and he looked amazing. You know, we've bought Gabriel for 20-odd million quid. Everyone lauded him up to be this superstar. He's, I don't know what's happened to him. Yeah, we've got Pablo Marie, right? And this is the thing, right? You can keep saying about, oh, we're getting rid of the dead wood, we're getting rid of this, we're getting rid of that, yeah? Have a look yeah. at the signings, this regime that Edu Arteta regime has made. William mm -hmm. on a free. Yeah. Yeah. Martin yeah. Odegaard on a loan. Mm -hmm. He brought Danny Ceballos back on a loan. Neither of them, yeah. or none of them three are good enough, by the way. Then you add in Cedric Suarez. Why is he not playing him then? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Barely plays him. His signing, after we gave him a contract on a loan, before he kicked a ball, we gave him a four-year deal. The fuck? Mm -hmm. That's now dead wood, by the way. Um, then you can add in um David Luiz. He was out of contract, have the one year extension. He's now leaving for free. Yep. Well, that was clever then, wasn't it? So that's now dead wood, right? Then you add into that Thomas Party forced him into playing game after three weeks of being at the football club, after three months of not playing football, then pushed him back on the pitch when he came back after that injury whilst he was injured. Which has now meant it's stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. He's had more injuries at Arsenal than he's had in his entire career. Then you add into that um, the other signings that he's made. Uh, Pablo Marie, barely see him play. Why? Why? Because, oh, I'll tell you why. Because every 10 games he plays, we've got to give his old team, Flamengo, another million quid. Well, why sign him then? It makes no sense. And this is the thing. You're sitting there like... You know, saying we're getting rid of dead wood, which, yeah, we are getting rid of some dead wood. We're replacing dead wood with future dead wood. Well, I don't think we... I, mean, I think there would, have, there would have been something with the wages, because obviously we had a lot of players on wages, um, high wages, especially yours and things like that, which we had to cut first before we start rebuilding. And this is why I said it would take us two years, because I already see that okay, coming. Aaron Ramsey leaving that, that was on over 100 grand a week then, is that not cutting the wages so we could pay Saka and Martinelli combined then? 
Sorry, say that again because I didn't hear. Aaron Ramsey left. He was on over 100 grand a week. Yeah. Right? He left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Arteta comes in as manager three months later, four months later, whatever it was. He goes into the January transfer window. We've saved 100 grand a week, by the way, because Aaron Ramsey ain't here anymore. Right. So that 100 grand, where's it gone then? Have we invested that? Oh, no. Of course we did. Yeah. We gave a Bamiang 375 grand a week on this guy's watch to now stink it out for a whole season. Yeah. yeah. Because he's bored of playing left wing back. Mm -hmm. One of the most prolific strikers in the world. Yeah. Playing yeah. through the middle. I don't get why everyone thinks he can play left wing. He played 11 times for Borussia Dortmund on the left wing in over 200 games. Yeah. That is the worst season he has ever had in his career last season. And that is down to your manager playing him left wing back all season. And then when he's dropping a stinker, leaving him on the pitch for 90 minutes, playing left wing, bringing on uh, other players that are just simply not good enough for this football club. Playing, playing. I'll give another example. Lacazette. I don't particularly rate Lacazette. First three games of the season, he scored in all three of them. So what was his reward for that? Against Sheffield United in the fourth game, you benched. Why? Oh. It's international break the next week. Yeah, he don't go on international duties. Why'd you bench him? He scored three and three. Yeah, then... After the international break, which he didn't go on, we had Man City away. Oh, yeah, you benched again, mate. I'm going to stick Willian at false nine. It's all about. Yeah. Then you go throughout the course of the season. Every time Pepe scores, benched. Every time he get, does a good game, benched. Then you've got um, a midfield that just changes every single week. Mohamed El Nenny is, <laughs> I don't know how he's played so many games or minutes of games. Yeah, it's a disgrace. You know, if you look at our best centre-back this season, it was David Luiz. That is a yeah. shambles mm. that that guy was our best centre-back. Because mm -hmm. guess what? Two of them centre-backs, the centre-back signed on Arteta's watch, and one of them in Rob Holding was a centre-back that he wanted to keep. So three out of them four, right, three out of them four, yeah, were worse than the guy that was signed the season before. Okay. Yeah, that was out of quite... In fact... Yeah, when you actually think about that, the oldest player at the football club centre back wise was better than all three of Arteta's signings. That's I actually mean, a Gabriel, I mean, Gabriel was took time to obviously set a win, like you know, a lot of uh, foreign players do take. You know, I mean, you look at Chelsea's players. Um, you know, everyone was raving about all three of their players, especially Diesel was raving about all three of them, and he took them to the last three or four games of the season to sort of come into it. So, you know what I mean? Gabriel's obviously... I have the Champions League uh, final. He turned up when it mattered. Well, no, no, you're right. He did turn up when it matters, and that's 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 good uh, good enough for them. But Primo what I'm scored more goals than Lacazette, I think, this season. I might be is, wrong. I'm sure he scored more is, goals than Lacazette. The thing is, is like if you look back on everything I've said, even on the last stream, I said that this manager would still be here. You gave a, a Pacific date, a month. Yeah, it's to the detriment of this football club. But hold up, hold up! You give us, you give a, um, a proper date and a month that he'd be gone. He's still yep. here, and so I was right. I said that we would be getting rid of Deadwood and we'd be selling them. You said no, we won't be getting rid of them because this manager's yep. a clan. Blah blah yep. blah. We we started getting rid of them. I said we'd get. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You said we would get on, rid of. Get finish, rid of. Let me finish. Let me finish. And then I said that players will we'll be getting players in like Gabriel and Party. Why would we be getting him in? No one's going to come to this their club and things like that. Yep. So that was true. And then I said it would take us two years to sort of get ourselves sorted out and get ourselves back up and running again. This is the season that I have said that, you know what I mean, if he doesn't do it by Christmas for me, I will give a date. I will give a date because I've stuck with that date since the start when I wanted Arteta in. By Christmas, if we're not doing it, then yes, I'll be on your boat and Diesel's boat and everyone else in the chat, 99.9% .9 of saying get rid of him. But come this season now, we're going to have most of the dead wood and the poison out of our club, like I said that would happen, which has gone now. We're going to have a chance of going out because we need to buy players now. Because like everyone's saying and everyone's reporting, Shakar's going, Bellerin's going. You know I mean? Hopefully a few others will be going. William, apparently today, if you listen to the <laughs> ITK, has got uh, an out in Miami. So it looks like he's going there to the Miami thing. So we'll be getting rid of the Deadwood and then he can get in the actual players that he wants moving forward. And then with that moving forward, you're going to have a team setting up with probably, I don't mind Leno. I think Leno um, has kept... Leno's Deadwood. Not good enough. Well, he's I, I, our best I, goalkeeper. I think, I don't, I, you know, I'm not that, 
hard on him at the moment. I think he... he yeah, but he should be. He's shocking. Kicking's no, atrocious. No, no, no. Carries everything. Off. Punches everything. We start off with Leno in goal. We'll have Tieni left back. I think he will go with Saliba. All this rubbish again last season. That he doesn't like him and he sent him out on loan and he's going to leave and blah, blah, blah. Even even um, um, good man Glenn come on, you know what I mean, and said... He 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 went. He scrolled through all the reports and everything that he said. And Saliba didn't come out and say that he he um, Arteta was this and that and all that. And he had a beef with him. It's just the media again twisting words and trying to get a reaction out of Arsenal fans, which always happens on Twitter. Unfortunately, you, all all someone's got to do is make up a little rumor, and Arsenal fans will jump on it and they will run with it. But you know what I mean. So Saliba yeah, will come that's back. That's all well and good, Terry. That's all well and good, yeah. and that's fantastic. Yeah, great. Whoopie do. Yeah. Let's say Saliba does start next season. Great, fantastic. Yeah. It's two years too late, right? And let's have it right here, right? You can talk about Deadwood all you like. Yeah. Who's picking these players every week? By the way, he doesn't have to pick Mohamed El Neni. He doesn't have right, to pick. You said that. Glad you he doesn't said have that. to pick his that. adopted son. I'm glad you said that because even though Smith Rowe might have fell into his lap, <laughs> he doesn't have to pick him every week. He doesn't have to. He can pick William if he wanted to. He can pick Pepe if he wanted to. He can pick everyone. Pick? Out of them two, it's, all right. it's, all right when it's, all, it's, it's all right when you say it on one hand, like, you know, yeah. oh, you know what I mean? He, he can pick anyone. But then you've got to take it on the other hand. Why? So you've got to give because Smith Rowe's light years ahead of where William is in his career right now. William's right done and dusted. I agree with you. So instead of picking up on one game that he fell in his, his, his no, 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 I'm not. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. You're, you're, no, no, wait. It, 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 it was, that's what Arsenal and Arteta fans pick on is that one game where um, someone got injured, so we had to put Smith Rowe in, and then since then everyone says, "Oh, it's only because of injuries." That he's getting... Well, no, because like you just said, it come out of your own mouth that who is the guy picking these players? Arteta yeah. is picking. So that's who should be held accountable, then, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, exactly. so on that basis, okay, so on that basis, you've just agreed that Arteta should be held accountable based on the decisions he makes well, for the team. Yeah? Yeah? Cool. Well, well, on that basis, then, that. on that basis, that. then, on that basis, not finishing in a European position, yeah, is a disgrace, and he should have been sacked. Number two, picking Hecky B, Becky B, Dua Lipa, whatever you want to call him, the fashionista, <laughs> picking him. For the majority yeah. of the season, and then for the last part of the season, deciding actually, I'm going to put Cedric in for a game. Then I'll put some um, Callum Chambers in. He even played Socrates at right back at one point, and then and then paid to get him out of the club. So why did you keep playing him then? Because you obviously don't rate him. Now he wants to leave, right? Mm -hmm. Then you go with your centre backs. We have a different centre back pairing every time. Yeah, Gabriel. You said about Gabriel. He's 22 years old. Yeah. Who was rating Gabriel before he comes to the club? You made it out like him and Party. Party, yeah, but you said we signed Gabriel was mate. Yeah, Gabriel, I could go and tell you 25 centre backs better than him right now. He ain't nothing special, he's rash. Go and have a look at his game up at Old Trafford. Well, we, we where see, Mason we Greenwood see. spun him and he wiped him out and he should have been we sent see off. Next season. We'll see next season. Yeah, it's always next season. I want no way. Why, why is it next season? season? Why is it next season? Why, why is it always next now, season? Now, sorry, I've just, I've just got I've, I've got two super chats here. This one's been up That's for a while. Um, uh, loves music. Thank you very much, mate, for uh, your donation. He's put if you guys sold a Bamiang and some others, surely you could get 100 million. Go and get Conte. It's <laughs> it's so obvious. Uh, Conte would be, would be an absolute dream for me. Well, apparently, uh, he's washed up, mate. He can't do it. He can't do it, mate. Like, do you know what I mean? He needs 200 million quid and a fuckload of money. I don't like, know anything about Conte. What I said to Conte is. Is that why hasn't he gone to Tottenham? He said to Conte, he knows him, you know. Because why he hasn't gone to Tottenham to be on his terms. He wants exactly. He wants to rebuild Tottenham. He wants money to do it, which obviously I agree with. But Levy won't give it to him. Can I just say, that? did you see the state of the team that he just won the league with over in Italy? Alexi Sanchez, oh, would you take him on. back? Ashley oh, Young, would you take him? Yeah. Victor on, Moses, would you have took league, him? Washed up on all league. Come on, for God's sake. Would you have took Victor that's, Moses? Because he had him like at, saying, over that's there, like saying, That's like saying, right, if a manager goes to PSG next season, where are they going to finish in the league next season, PSG? It depends who the manager is. What, what, what do you mean it depends who the manager is? Well, if it's Mikel on Saturday, they finish 10. PSG have won it seven times and finished second, third, uh, three times. In the last 10 years, they're not been out. The, so it doesn't matter what manager goes there because... What they've got is they've got the money from the, the chairman. They go, let them go out and buy whoever they want. 
and they've already got the foundations and the team already there. So if a manager goes in there, right, all he's got to do is pick a couple of players that he really wants to bed into the team that's already uh, there. That's already finished. No, I totally uh, disagree with that. Totally disagree. If that's the, if that's, the case, on, then, if on, that's the case, then, if that's the case, then, if that is the case, how comes oh. that Pirlo didn't win the league with them, with Juve? Because they've got the players that win it every year. Juve's in it. We're talking about PSG. Yeah, but you're working on that basis that they've already got the players, they've already got the money, yeah. they've already got the infrastructure and everything there. Well, on that yeah. basis, Juve have won nine straight titles or eight straight titles, wherever it was. Yeah. Pirlo comes in, they finish fourth. Yeah, well, same as Pochettino. He went there last season, they finished second this year. No, Pirlo so, started at the start of the season. Poch went in three quarters of the way through it. So we, well, we can write him off straight away. Yeah, because on your well, basis, you would give him next year. Yeah, well, right. Let's be so, in Italy, Spain... France, all them sort of leagues, let's be honest, you've got three, maybe four teams in some of them leagues that can only win the league. Unless unless, unless you've got one like a Leicester sort of thing at the time, or, or Blackburn, you know what I mean, one that sort of comes out of the ranks and, you know what I mean, surprises you. Every single year, you can bet your ass on which team's going to more or less win the league. Yeah. So, okay. Sorry, I've just, I've just had a text message. Uh, this is actually Aldo. Um oh uh, so Aldo, I really appreciate that, mate. Really, I, I know you're watching with uh, Leanne yeah, right now. Don Aldo in the Don car. Aldo. In, uh, I've just had a text from Leanne to say he actually picked the name as well. So that is a sick oh, line. And uh, yeah. we all knew you as a Don when we met you at the funeral, mate. Um, exactly. Proper old school. But, if, but, if, uh, but this uh, is the thing, yeah. Can I just say, on, sorry, Lee, just quickly, Aldo, Aldo, if you are listening, mate, we will get that dinner sorted, and all of us will be there, yeah. and we'll have a good yeah. drink and a good food, mate. And I've had a text as well saying he's actually he's watching the stream and he's actually shouting at Terry. I've just that's a message. <laughs> exactly. Uh, this, uh, is the, this is the thing, though, right, Terry? Right. You're, you're you're saying about Juve. Juventus have won the league every single year. Doesn't matter who the manager is. Maurizio Sarri won the league for God's sake, yeah. Right. Before that, it was Allegri. Let's be right here, yeah. Pirlo went in there, and I'm like, Pirlo. It's exactly the same as what we've done with Arteta. But the difference is, Pirlo was a proper footballer. Arteta was bang average, right? I'm not saying Arteta was no, no. Great. Okay, so let's take out his footballing career. Who said that? Wasn't qualified to become a manager. Pirlo wasn't qualified to become a manager either, right? He has taken Juventus from serial repeat offenders in terms of winning title, 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 to nearly missing out on Champions League football. Guess what? Is get Andy won two trophies, by the way, and guess what his reward for that was at the end of the season? You're sacked. Because that is what big football clubs do, mate. Yeah, And we're not a big football club because all the way back when Arsene Wenger came out and said fourth is a trophy, he totally killed our club. Yeah, And now we've got all of these people that want to sit there and say, trust the process, trust the process, trust the process. Bruv, let me tell you something. It shouldn't be an individual manager's career process. It is our football club process. Chelsea do not have their process linked to an individual. It is their club process. And when our fans get off their backside and start saying it as it is and using their platforms to raise the standards again instead of accepting mediocrity, we might actually start challenging again. Until then, oh, we'll give him till December and then we would have wasted another summer window when he's still sat eighth. What a waste of time. Sack him. Well, like I said, you know what I mean? All I can say to that is, Lee, is, you know, I've been right on three or four occasions now. If you go back and watch the last stream... Terry, I've, I've predicted right everything that's going to happen time. since he's got I'm here. Hoping, I'm, right. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, obviously, of course I am, because even if I am right, right, and I, obviously I'm going to get it wrong sometime, I know that, I, know I have to hold my hands up, right? But even if I do get it wrong, uh, sorry, even if I do get it right and by Christmas we are sort of in the top four and we're going well, blah, 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 I can't sit back and still be happy and say, oh, yeah, you know, I've got it right. And things why like waste that. six I've months? Why don't we go and actually get someone the who's the got season. a proven track record, I've Terry, of doing something? At the end of the season. You know what I mean? Because people like, obviously, yourself and Diesel and everyone else who obviously is still going to say that, even though we're in the top four or whatever, we're, we're, you know what I mean? I still don't like the manager, which you're going to do. I'm still going to be sitting there saying, yes, I'm back in the manager, but I'm not going to be happy until the end of the season because look what happened to Tottenham. Tottenham won the league back in November, and yet they finished in seventh this year. So okay, okay. Still got no, to, I'm Terry, Terry, got Terry, wait, Terry. I've still got to wait until the end of the season. <laughs> Everyone was sitting there, putting out there. Yeah. I think you did it as well. Oh, we were yeah. second since Christmas. Yeah? Yeah, yeah? Guess what, mate? Yeah. 
guess what? We were third since yeah. Christmas the season before. So yeah. that's progress, right? No. Guess who won the league? Man City. The season before yeah. Liverpool. Guess where we finished both of them? See, oh, yeah, eighth, right? Mm -hmm. Now, at the end of the day, it's, oh, give him till the end of the season. Give him a summer window. Then you give him a summer window. Oh, give him till Christmas. Mate, when is it going to end? Give him this. Give him that. On no basis is this guy anywhere near qualified good enough and got the personality, the um, the man management skills, or the tactical know-how yeah, to pick a starting eleven consistently of the same players to move us up a table. And if anyone thinks otherwise... Just go back and have a look at all of my videos. Yeah, in fact, go back to the 25th of November, 2019, three weeks before he got the job. I predicted everything that would happen with this guy. Everything, apart from the FA Cup. And I even said most of the way through the season, he'll probably fluke the FA Cup and that'll give him another pass. Yeah, everything that has happened at this football club, I've predicted every single bit of it. He is not good enough. And if people want to accept that, um, that he is and think he is, just go and have a look at Juve. He, Pirlo's basically the Italian Arteta, got a job off of the back of being an ex-player, yeah, won or two trophies instead of one, and then got sacked because he finished fourth instead of winning a title. We've gone from fifth with Unai Emery, weren't good enough. Oh, the style of play, oh, we, oh, it's a disgrace, they're down tools. Well, guess what, mate, yeah? Them players down tools, right? Everyone thinks they're down tools. He's still got that much of a tune out of them. Aubameyang won the golden boot. <laughs> and we finished fifth. Yeah, this guy has apparently got everyone playing and onside. Oh, they're all onside. They want to play for him. And he's finished eighth twice. Why, 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 why didn't he, with a much better team with Az, go and do it with, with Arsenal then in the, in the final? Why, uh, Emery, you're talking about Emery, Emery finished eighth in the final. You're talking about, no, he, what are you talking about? He, he had a much better team now than what Valencia have got. Uh, uh, Villarreal, sorry. He got a much better side now with Arsenal. And we had a bit, much better chance against Chelsea than what he did with Villarreal against Man United. Have you seen our squad for that final? Yes, I have seen that squad. What we had Lacazette, Aubameyang out there. We had um, Özil. Um, Mesut Özil. Don't even talk yeah. to me about Mesut Özil. Well, mate. I'm just saying, I'm saying. We had all of them. We had all of them. Why didn't we, he do it with Arsenal? He man. fucked it up. He fucked it up. Let's be real. I, I can't understand. I still can't understand to this day, right? That he's done nothing for Arsenal. He done nothing for Arsenal. He got us in fifth place, right? And that's it. He got us in fifth place and he took us to a final, which we lost. Why yep. do people keep on about? Who cares? Because I'll tell you something now. Because I'll tell you something now, Terry. The reason people keep banging on about it, hang on. The reason people keep banging on about it, Terry, yeah? Right? The reason... Okay, well, if, if we let me speak, you get the answer, right? The reason people keep banging on about it is because if he had had the whole of the season... That following season, we might have just got top four, but we'll never know because we stacked him and put a rookie in charge. And guess what? Yeah. You said about two years, yeah? Why yeah. weren't he allowed two years? Because you're saying actually two and a half, well, it's two full years that you're giving him. Two and a half seasons, yeah, yeah? is what you're yeah. giving him pretty much, but it's two full years. Where was this for the previous manager then? Because guess what? Guess what, mate, yeah? We were only eight points off fourth after 13 games, yeah? yeah. Under yeah. Emery. There were still 25 games. And as you can see under a rookie, he was yeah. second in them last 25 games. Yeah. An experienced manager like Unai Emery might have got us in the top four. Well, we did, he, he should have got us in the top four. Not might have got us should in have, the top could four. Could have, didn't. He Mikel should Arteta have, should have got us in Europe this he season. Have and he didn't. Four because, like you said, he's a much experienced manager than what we've yeah. got now. So he should have got us there. And apparently, you know what I mean, he would have had the brain, the mindset and all that to get the players out there. Okay, so you're saying, he, would, right? so so you're saying he should have got so us there, this yeah? season, Don't forget, this season, we've had our worst season ever in our history, if you listen your to manager. our manager, fans, uh, our worst <laughs> season ever. And we was one game off of Europe and two games off the top four. Re realistically, if you look at two games off the top four, what are you chatting about? We we two point. We was two games. If we would have won them off the top four, we could have been. Oh, well, so all the other nineteen or uh, seven teams above us. No, I'm, just, I'm just giving you an example. Like we was only one point away from fifth place, uh, fourth place with Emery. So you can. Yeah, say you've only got to chase one team, Terry. Yeah, and guess oh. what. I'm not and saying that you're going to change one team. You're only chasing one that's team. Right, Terry, 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 you're missing that's the complete right. point. We that's finished right. eighth. So the seventh that's place, right. sixth place, fifth place, right. and fourth place. You're now chasing four teams but to is, get... But is that fact? Yeah? Was that fact? So that we was one place off of... One game off of Europe if we would have got three points and two games off of it... We no, 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 no. We, 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 was actually, we was actually three games off of Europe because he fucked up the first round. 
yeah, first leg. He cocked up the second leg, which meant we didn't get to the final, which we would have then had to have won as well. So it was actually three games away, yeah? And no, he cocked up both of them. Tottenham, Tottenham Unai Emery was one game. I know we didn't want that. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't. We don't, I know we didn't want that, but we we, we was only one one game off of, off of Europe. Okay, uh, so, about so, so, we've so, ever sorry. played. Let me ask you this then. Okay, let me ask you this then, yeah? Oh, no, is that true? We was one point off fourth. Hang on. We was one point off fourth, right? And we was literally 90 minutes from winning a trophy if we had played better. We didn't. We had our pants pulled down. So on that basis then, yeah, why was everyone so quick to just turn on him after he'd had one season? Yeah? I wasn't wasn't that quick to turn on him then. I I turned on him way before him. Way before him. Yeah, and, and that's what because, like I said, I was going, and you don't see you when you watch it on Sky. No disrespect to people that watch it on Sky and things like that. You only watch what's on camera, right? You only watch what I, I obviously when you go, you watch different players. Like I, I, I will pick up an example of uh, Gwen Doozy. Everyone keeps going on about him, how great he was. He looks great on camera, but when you're actually there watching him in person, and the camera's not on him, he is so slow. He runs forward, he gets us forward. Yeah, that's great, but he's a midfielder. He needs to get back. Right, he, he is so slow, he can't get back. So, as, as, as soon as the player gets past him, that's it, he's out of the equation, he's not getting back. So, that's one player, Dan, that we've got. Right, he was no good in the air, he was very, very weak off the ball and all. Right, you can say this about all of our tennis signings, by the way, because he he he, uh, he runs forward and he and he gets us going in, in a couple of games. That's it, everyone talks about him, he's, he's like a, a Foden. You know what I mean? He's, he's he's nowhere near it. He's absolutely crap and dire. So forget That's one six player. Billion, That's one player. Billion, but I'm just giving you an example. Tell, tell. Sorry, sorry, hey, sorry. Was, yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. This is going to disappear. Uh, big up to Jonathan Antwi Bossy Echo. Come on, uh, Jonathan. Thank you uh, very much, mate. Really appreciate that. He's very at the start of the season. You used the FA Cup win as a justification to keep our titter. I don't want to keep him. Our titter. I love saying that. When he has had to compete in all competitions from start to finish, we've been dumped out of them all. So, Fact. yeah, no, listen, a lot of people, as I keep saying, you know, what I mean, even Lee just said it, you know, what I mean, oh, we, we sort of, you know, we got an easy ride through the FA Cup, and you know, what I mean, it was just, it was just, you know, what I mean, luck or whatever, you know, what I mean, luck or whatever. I mean, that that side, right, more or less the same side as what Emery had for the uh, Europa League, right. Arteta went and won the FA Cup with. No, 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 no. You're chatting rubbish. The more or less most, the same time. Well, there was no Mr. Ozil. There was no Aaron Ramsey. There was no Shelby. There was no Monreal. There was no Socrates. There was no Alex Anna. There's no, 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 no. Wait, players. there's no Alex Iwobi. There was Obumian. The 25 man squad. What's that? Arteta, Lacazette, Bellerin. Um, can't think of, but I'm just saying, we go through it. We, we get it up next time. Um, I'm going to get it up now. I'll tell you exactly what the team right? is. The team that we had in the Open League final, I'll go through it right now. Petr Cech, not here. Won yeah? the FA Cup. Hold right? up, hold up. You, you just asked a question. I've got the team up. As a novice, don't forget, as a novice, he played Man City. He oh, played what's Chelsea. a novice got to do with it? It's the best young coach in the well, world. Terry, you, let me read the Europa League squad out. Let me read this out. You keep going on about what a novice. Terry, you asked me to get the squad out. This, Terry, no you asked me to get the squad he up. Shouldn't the squad had, up. He shouldn't have had, right? He should not have had any chance of winning the FA Cup. Let's be real. Let's, let's talk real. He should not I, have had a chance of winning it. Okay, hold up. You asked for this. You said near enough the same squad won the FA yeah. Cup that lost the Europa League final under Emery. Cool. Right, fair enough. Petr Cech, no longer at the club. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Socrates yeah. Pastafopoulos. I've be- butchered that. Yeah? <laughs> No. That was actually bang on. <laughs> was at the club. Was at the club. Yeah, was at the club. So that's one on your side, yeah? Because Shelney, yeah. not at the football club. There's two. Nacho Monreal. That was our back three of the day, by the way. Uh, not at the football club. Um, Lucas Torreira, yeah, was at the football club. So there's three, two. Granite Xhaka, three, three. Kalazanak, four, three. Maitland Niles, five, three. Mesut Ozil, yeah, it's five, three. four. Lacazette and Aubameyang, 7-4. Now let's go through the subs, yeah? Let's go through seven, the subs. Seven, seven, that's it. That's it. That's no, done. Because it's seven, a squad four. game. It's a squad seven, game, yeah? Four. Alex Awobi. Yeah, Alex Awobi. No. Four. That's what I said. Why don't people pick up on this? this what is are you what chatting about? This is Cole Jenkinson. Saying. Cole Jenkinson. Stephen Licksteiner. Iliev. Yeah? Uh, <laughs> Alex Awobi. Danny Welbeck. Seven, four. Yeah. That's Come what on. I'm saying. It was more or less the same team. That's what I'm saying. Who won well, the I'm just listing 11 players that were in that squad that weren't here. 
he should never have had a chance of winning it. Never have had Terry, a chance. Terry, stop, of stop waffling, mate. Yeah, Come on. Over, eleven of them players that were in that Europa League squad, and that's without Mkhitaryan, who never made it, by the way. Okay. Right, eleven of them players that were in that Europa League final, twenty-five man squad, were not at the football club when we won. That is nearly half of the squad. Oh. Well, like I said, I was right again. I was right again, unfortunately. If you gave him no <laughs> Emery, this we should a never man. ever have won with this manager, with what I've been saying, right? With this, so that's with the reason to keep him because we want oh, a trophy. No, 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 <laughs> you know what? Arsenal fans are the only fan base on the planet that count community shields. And then their answer is, yeah, but in the other in the other countries, they have they have the super cup or saying, or like it, what a load of cobblers. It is a charity game, it is a glorified soccer aid. It's the professional yeah, soccer aid. That's all it is. That is not a trophy, it's a plate. Right? But it can't only... it counts on the history books. It can't, it counts as a cup. That's what I'm saying. It can, it can. <laughs> Troy, so, can let me quickly get this in. Thank you very much. If you, if you went to Alex Ferguson now and said, how many trophies you're going to want, is he going to take all them community I'm glad off? you've said that, because if this didn't get copywritten, I'd play a clip where Alex Ferguson for Aberdeen won the FA Cup final against Glasgow Rangers. That's and Aberdeen. he did an interview straight afterwards. That's and they Aberdeen. said, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> and he said straight after that, because I'm giving you the elite mentality now, yeah? Straight after mm. that, my mate sent it to me. I would play it, but you get done for copyright. Yeah, I know. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight yeah. after that cup final, Aberdeen beat Rangers, right, back in 83 or whenever it was. He's spitting feathers, and he said that was a disgusting performance. That is not the standards. He's just won the cup, by the way. This mm -hmm. is not the standards of Aberdeen. Rah, 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 rah. And you're talking about Mikel Arteta in the same breath. Turn it in. Lee, 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 I'll go one better, yeah? I do like Because uh, based on that community shield, and I mentioned this to Terry, because no one mentions this. Hold up. You're not involved. No, 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 no. It's not a dig. It's oh, not a dig. Right, I'm being impartially, yeah. Right. <laughs> when we talk about elite uh, mentality, right, when we beat um, when we beat Chelsea in the Community Shield, yeah, and Mourinho, Joe, I, I, I'll never forget it. His his runners up medal threw it into the audience. Yeah. Yep. That was his way of saying I don't do seconds, number one or nothing. Bang, okay. there you go. Give it to someone else. And Troy, much appreciated, mate. Emery was one point off third. Arteta experimented in, in the Europa League semi-final. He should have been sacked ages ago. Arteta sexuals never learn. Fact. Cheers, Troy. That one out in all, Diesel. Uh, can I tell you how much Don Aldo is enjoying this? <laughs> I bet he is. You mentioned that Arteta is better than Unai Emery because Unai Emery bottled the final, yeah? Right, yeah. and he should have got us top four, you reckon, right? Well, on that basis, then, surely Unai Emery has redeemed himself and more by winning the Europa League with an inferior team. Because you said earlier, this Arsenal team what, is, what is better than... Rioli, I could not give two shits about. I know that some Why Arsenal did you fans... Up earlier, the, then? Emery, the Emery lovers will be saying, oh, that's fantastic, what a brilliant yeah. blah, blah, blah. But like I said, the Everton fans at this moment sitting there saying, Ancelotti, our best ever manager that's ever come to this club. Are they saying that? Because what? They're going to turn around and say, well, look, to be fair, he's won trophies everywhere he's been, you know, blah, 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 Juventus and Chelsea and Real Madrid and everything like that. So, you know, he come to us, he didn't really have the money, he didn't really have the team, but you know what? We'll sit here and say, what a fantastic manager Ancelotti is. Or do well, you think that's, well, that's, yeah, that's what you're doing or with do Mikel Arteta? at the moment and saying, what the fuck? What the okay, fact? well, that's what you're doing with Arteta, isn't it? We thought we, we got an absolute great manager that was we was buying into, that was going to turn us around. He said all of this, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm here to get you in the top four and challenge him again. If Angelotti had our squad, we would have finished in the top honest, four. Let's be honest. That ain't even a debate. Mourinho went to Tottenham. He didn't do it. You know what I mean? He's got sacked. Angelotti went to Everton. He didn't do it. Um, what do you mean he didn't do it? What do you expect Everton to be doing, by the way? What do you mean? Expect I expect him to be iron in tenth place with a with an experienced manager who's won things everywhere and all that. Well, yeah, but like, yeah, but okay, so on, on, hang on, hold hang on, up, sorry, let's, sorry. Let's on your here. words, let's I'm going to use your words back on you let's now. Rewind here because remember when I used to say he's washed up, he's washed up, and I kept getting told 
Carlo Ancelotti, he's won this. He's, he's doing things. Look, Everton are second in the league. Look what he's doing with that team. Look at Mourinho. Look at the, the oh, one the okay. league. You know, so we're going through their squad pound for pound compared to last time. Don't every, they forget this with all the views. All the views kept saying to me, Terry, you kept saying he's washed oh. up. What are you saying? He's washed <laughs> up, Terry. Look at Mourinho. He's what he's to, he's the top of the league. Look what he's doing. If yeah. we would have got this manager, look what he'd be doing for us. And that's what I'm trying to say. Rain it in a little bit. Right, rain it in a little well, bit. Back of rookie who took us from eighth to eighth. Because, no, no, no. Look, just because he's a fantastic manager, he's won things everywhere. <coughs> he does not mean he's going to come to Arsenal and then win us. Okay, but Real Madrid, who are one of the biggest clubs, maybe on the he could have done. Maybe they could have done. I'm not saying that he, he he wouldn't do. I personally don't think he would have done with the situation that we was in. Okay, me, do you, okay. Let me ask you this then. Yeah, if Arteta got sacked right now, which he should he should have been already. Who would you want as your next manager at the club? Who who would you pick? If you was in charge of hiring the manager, who would you pick with that current squad to get us up there in the top whoever, four? Whoever, who whoever, I, well, at the moment, I no, think... give me a name. Stop waffling. No, give me no, a name. I will give you a name, but what I'm saying is, is if it was two years ago, it would be totally no, different. No, if, 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 mate, listen, now, if, now, listen, if, I'm, if, if I'm picking now... If, if, if me and Nana will, you'd be a fucking bike, mate. Yeah, simple what as that. Mean? I would want Pep or Clock right now. Personally, Second. Pep. Or Klopp. That's all right. Okay, well, let's be realistic with it, Terry, yeah? Well, we ain't never going to get him. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so they're, they're the only two managers you think that could turn it around to get us in the top no, four. No, that that's squad. what I would want personally at the moment. No, 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 that, you didn't answer the question then. Who do you what? think and would want, who would you want, yeah, this is what I said, who would you yeah, want I don't know. to get us back to that top four? Who would you at pick? Who, moment, If you were in moment, charge, who would you pick? I'll be honest with you. At the moment, I don't know because I've not really thought about it because I want So basically Arteta. you're saying better the devil do you know than the devil you no, don't no, know. No, I want Arteta here at the moment. That's what I'm saying. You know that. Everyone else, that's just my opinion. I so want so him you're happy finishing eight, uh, seventh loser? Why am I happy? Who, who said, I'm, who said, uh, who said this you is just the think you're happy with Arteta. Arteta. He's just finished this seventh loser twice. This is the only thing that Arteta out fins can banter on. Is that because we're finished eighth? Apparently, we all are happy that we're finished eighth if we support. You just said you're happy with Arteta. Yeah, you just said you're happy with Arteta. Listen, just because I'm happy with Arteta doesn't mean I I don't think that he's done things wrong. Of course, he's done things wrong. Well, I don't know. He spent fifty six minutes. I'm not perfect. I know that. That's for sure. And I know other everybody ain't perfect. What I'm saying is, is for me, I know that people don't like the word process or whatever you want to call it. But I I see that we had uh, we had to go through a period of getting our team back to a, a, a stage where I thought... Well, we finished seven loser twice. Our lowest finishes in 25 right, so years. That. And, and maybe if Ancelotti come, like who you wanted, we might have finished yeah. 10th. Who knows like Everton? No one knows, but what you're Wait, saying is... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Stop, 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 is, stop, If Ancelotti would have come here, so we definitely would have stop. finished above seventh or eighth. That's what you're saying. You're, if, you're we not had, if we had a, if Terry, Terry, Please, let me just explain to you real quick. Yeah? We could have finished him. Let me just you're explain to you real quick, that. right? Let me just explain this real quick, right? You're saying because they're an experienced manager doesn't guarantee you to finish higher. Of course it doesn't. I agree, right? right. But one thing exactly. I will tell you is Ancelotti. Yeah. I don't even need to check this because I already know Ancelotti didn't pick 37 different starting 11s for 38 games. Yeah, which gives yeah. you a better cohesion of your team, which means that you can build up relationships within the team. Thing? Hold up, why you can build up. You can feel why, why did, did he finish them? Because their squad shit. Why is it shit? No, 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 no. If we go back to the point, if we go back to the to November, what? I'll get the bench was, up, mate. Hold up, hold up. If we go back to November, <laughs> like you, Diesel, yep. Claude, and yep. all the others. We was all saying, look what he's doing at Everton. Look what he's doing. Yeah. He's bought four four midfielders. You know what I mean? Look what he's doing. This is what he would have been doing. <laughs> this would is what he would have been doing. Mourinho, the same thing. No, the same thing. Okay, you know what cool. I mean? Yeah, no Mourinho. Yeah, cool. Mourinho, Terry, you Terry, Terry, manager, Terry would you one point above so us. Can I get a word in? Terry, you're waffling. Would you I'm take Tom Davis? Who cares about that? Who cares no, about that? You asked me a question, so I'm trying to answer it. I didn't ask you a question about the players. Yeah, you did. You asked me. You said, why... Terry, Terry, you said, why did they finish... Can I speak? In 10th place. You said, why did they finish 10th? So I'm telling you, because their squad ain't good enough. You just said, he didn't didn't change the team about every week. So, Would you take Nkunku? Yeah. Would you take Seamus Coleman, Tom Davis? Would you take Mason Holgate? Would you take Robin Olsen? Would you take... um, I didn't say about the players, Lee. You're the one who's going for the players. Would you take Andre Gomez? Would you take... You're the one who's going for the players. I'm asking you... I'm asking you, why you did Josh an experienced King? manager, an experienced manager, come in everywhere? Why did he finish 
two two spaces because below. Because if us. you actually let me speak for more than two thing. words, Terry, you'll get an answer. Yeah. Morning. I've just listed ten of their players that you wouldn't take. Yeah. That's you nearly half saying, of the squad. This is what I'm saying, Lee. You wasn't saying this or Diesel or Crawl when they were no, second because in the league. What? Because guess what? Calvin when... Lewin, oh my God, oh, what Calvin I mean? Lewin was flying, scoring goals every oh, every. Oh hang on, all right, uh, hang on. Let, 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 let Lee answer it, and but then... before he does, uh, uh, King Tony, tell you our Arteta's cone boy. Uh, thank <laughs> you for the super chat. Right. One more super chat, guys. Hang on. Thank you very thank much. You. Um, oh, Jonathan and Tweed Bosiaco again. See, twice now. One more, Jonathan. I'll get to keep the match ball. Thank you very much, mate. He's put Terry, you're right. Arteta is the greatest, and I cannot wait for him to win a league title. But by the way, when we get promoted back into the Premier League, <laughs> that is a cuss. That's because, that's because we got relegated, wasn't it? This is our season where we got relegated, and you know, what I mean, we was having a relegation battle. Do you remember that? Okay, you so, know, so let me ask you this then. Okay, season, okay, if I can speak, you get the answer that you wanted 10 minutes ago, yeah? Would yeah. would you take Leno or Pickford? Let's just go through their squads pound for pound, Terry. Would you take Leno or Pickford? But hold up, before I answer this, what has this got to do with what I was saying? Why Ancelotti? Because, you're, because when they were sat top and I was gloating, oh, yeah, look, Ancelotti, Ancelotti. Yeah. Guess what? Yeah. They're starting 11. Every single one of them was fit and starting every week. When you yeah. scrape that squad back to yeah. um, well, Tom Davis. You did that. I'm glad you said that. What about our squad in the first first half of the season then? Mate, El Nini's better than Tom Davis. Turn it did in, Terry. Any, oh, did yeah? we have any injuries? I can't remember. How many injuries did we have? Terry, 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 Terry. Terry. Did Terry. We, wait, did wait, we, wait, did wait. we or not? Hold up, hold up. But when we talk about injuries, Terry, you say, every time I, I don't want to hear about injuries. Up, mate. Seriously, I'm just going to bounce in a minute. Yeah? At the end of the day, you're not letting me speak, right? At the end of the day, Terry, yeah, we have got a, a player on our bench called Martinelli who couldn't get a game. We've got Pepe sat on our bench. When you go and have a look at Everton's bench, it's Alex Awobi. Would you take Pepe or Awobi? Pepe. Thank you. Would, would you take Tom Davis and um, Tom Davis and Gilfie Sigerson over Smith Rowe and El Nenny? Over, not over Smith Rowe, but El Nini, yeah. Would you take would you take uh, um, over El Nini, yes, I would. would you take Josh King? Would you take Josh King over Lacazette? Some people would. Would, I, I would, would, you, no, would you take, would you take Andre Gomez over Xhaka? Probably not, would you? Probably. Probably, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, to be fair, probably. We actually <laughs> agree. Right? Would you take wow. um, <laughs> would you take, would you take um, I don't know? Let's have a look at Bernard. Would you take Bernard over Saka or Martinelli or Pepe or a Bamiang even left wing or William? Because they're equally as fucking bad, William and Bernard. But this is the bench we're talking about. But I've just listed four players that we can do that. They've only got one that's the backup. Yeah. yeah. Would you take, um, I don't know, look at this guy, Nils Nkunku. Does anyone even know who he is? Oh, would, would you, you take, take him would you, over and Kedita? Would you what, take what? him? No, would you take him over Rob Holding? Oh, you, you're exactly, you're gonna you're gonna place would him. Would you take him over Rob Holding? Answer Rob, the question. Over Rob Holding? No, I quite like. No, Rob well, there Holden. you go, and this is what I'm saying. Yeah, when you're sitting there saying, yeah, yeah. that Ancelotti finished tenth, which is a factual comment. Cool. Go and have a look at his squad. He was punching. Right. He was punching. Sat there at Christmas, right? Then he gets a Calvert Lewin injury. Yeah. The backups were Charleston up front. Richarlison is one of the most fucking overhyped footballers I've ever seen. Right? Everyone then when you scrape that back and you've got an injury on the left, you're now bringing Bernard on. Then you're putting a Wobi on. I'm sorry, mate. The levels between Arsenal and, and Everton are massive in terms of squad. Yeah, starting right. 11, you can have a debate. But squad, and guess what? We had Martinelli fit from Christmas and barely used him. Yeah? yeah. If Ancelotti was here, he would have been used. I agree with that one. I agree with Martinelli, Lee. I agree with Martinelli. There's, no, long, you, there's no reason not to have started him. No, no, there's no, no reason I, not I, to I, start Salibar. I can't yeah, answer no... that question. I can't answer that question. I agree with you on Everton's Martinelli. Midfield, Everton's midfield is miles better than any three we could put in midfield. Let's have that right, yeah? Because I see somebody going lead down playing their squad. Mate, their squad's bang average, yeah? But the three in midfield, yeah? Any three you want to put in there, quality. Yeah, absolutely quality. Yeah, Richarlison's yeah. overrated. Alex Awobi we flogged because he weren't good enough. Jordan Pickford's shite. Uh, Seamus Coleman's passed it. Luca Dean's decent. He's quality. Yeah, tell me what else they've got. Godfrey's not bad. But is he any better? 
and this is what I'm saying. When you look at their squad, you're using Ancelotti and, oh, he should have worked wonders and got him up right up in the top four. No, if he had our team, we would have played more attractive football, we would have dominated possession and we would have won more football matches. Yeah, so sitting there saying, oh, well, I don't know who I'd have. And uh, the blah, blah, blah. Well, I'll tell you something, mate. Real Madrid ain't sleeping because they went and got Don Carlo back real quick, didn't they? And watch them win the title next season. If they don't win the title, I'll, I'll put 100 quid in as a super chat. How's that? <laughs> Can I hold That's you to that? <laughs> Listen, Lee, I know you said you wanted to uh, go for 40 minutes. We've been going for an hour. Do you still want to carry on or do you want to call Yeah, we'll do a couple more minutes, but my dinner's ready, so... <laughs> what you got? Uh, I don't even know, actually. I genuinely yeah. don't know. My old girl's cooked it, so I don't know. Uh, apparently, to... David Moyes has left. Is that true? What? what West Ham? Dunlop said Moyes left. Well, there ain't nothing in Sky, Sky Sports News because... Uh, uh, I've oh, maybe he's talking news. about Everton. He left Everton. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Right. Do you want to read out a few of the comments, Diesel? And then we can answer a few of them. Let's get a few of them. Man, said, the man said Don Carlo's not a Don anymore. Don Carlo is one of the greatest managers I've ever seen in my life. And I'll tell you something, I will put 100 quid in this chat if he doesn't win the La Liga next season. Yeah, facts. <coughs> right. Yeah. And, because um... I'll tell you something, they will win the league next season. Don Carlo will sort that team out real quick. And before you say, oh, but Real Madrid are frying loads of money, we've spent more money than Real Madrid in the last eight seasons. Can I just say, uh, Bamboo, you're right. I, I probably did lose. At the end of the day, <laughs> if I did lose, listen, mate. I, it's I will, all Gunner, isn't it, man? Come I, on. I will, I will, I will grace, gracefully take it because Lee Gunner, let's be real, is one of the best people on Twitter. If you like him or rate him, the amount of work no, that this guy down. puts in, right, the amount of work that this guy puts in, no one else can do on their own, right? So, listen, <laughs> what I would say is, if you don't like Lee Gunner, and I'll be honest, before we, we you know, we, we all got together... You know what I mean? I, I did not like his views or things like that, but since I've got to know him and, you know what I mean, under these awful circumstances, you know, he's a he's an absolute diamond geezer away Top from man, and, 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 and YouTube and things like that, right? So, listen, if you don't <laughs> like him, there's no need to go for him, right? All you got to do... I, I couldn't care less. They're still watching like it. Like I say all the time, it's just <laughs> block him and don't go and don't watch him. That's all you got to do. You don't need to. You, we we don't need to rate each other and God, all things like that. If you don't like him or don't like me, all I would say is is look, I, I respect your opinion. Just block me and get on with get on with your day. That's all I would say. There you go. It's like we hyped it all up. It's like boxes and they're giving it to Bertie, isn't it? And then after <laughs> I knock you out, I pick you back up. It's like, I knock you really, man. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, it's good quality, and I appreciate you kind of letting me on in that, man. Like, look, at the end of the day, we're both passionate, yeah, about the club, yeah, and we both want to win. And I see somebody in the chat saying, "Oh, no manager has succeeded under this regime." That's a complete load of trash, okay. yeah, complete load of trash, yeah. Because at the end of the day, if you get your recruitment right, you play the right players in the right positions, and use your squad properly over a course of a season, you can succeed, yeah. And anyone who thinks you can't, right, go and have a look at Liverpool. Yeah, because Liverpool, their owners are as bad as ours. Their owners spent less money than ours. The only money their, their owner has spent since he's been there is on a new stand. He ain't put no money in. And they've won the Champions League and the uh, the league. And um, that is because they hired the proper manager. And you're going to say, oh, but they gave him three years. That's because he had experience, mate, and he'd already won titles. And he progressed them and got them better progressively. Because when this Arteta came in, everyone said, oh, but in Klopp's first year, he got them in the top four. So give him a chance. Well, this is And we finished eighth. <laughs> so the Klopp comparisons can go in the bin, can't they? <laughs> I don't, sorry, I've got this biker crew like just driving past. I don't get this this myth from a lot of Arsenal fans that, why does everyone think we, we don't spend money? We spend money. I, I don't understand where this thing comes from. Like this manager, like you know, no one, no manager can su succeed under this regime. We've spent a lot. We've got the we've got the most expensive front line in the league. That's a fact. Yeah, that's not me saying it. That's a fact. But uh, um, sorry, tell. Hold up. Oh okay. yeah, got, yeah. I was about to um, touch on that. Yeah, she's, she's done a Twitter poll and. Uh, 62% on Twitter poll have said Lee is right. I'm actually, I'm, to be honest, I'm actually shocked. shocked that I've got 38%. <laughs> I 
I'm you shocked at that at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm shocked at all. I'm, I'm absolutely shocked at that. So I'll take that all day long. <laughs> not, not a problem. Listen, all I want to say is, is as like Lee's just said, do you know what I mean? We are passionate fans. We've all got a different uh, views on, you know, the manager and God knows what. But at the end of the day, we all want the same result. And that's Arsenal winning the league and Champions League again. Yes, we've got different opinions on how we get there and God knows what. But only at the moment, let's be truthful, only time will tell because, you know, unless you want to give another date, Lee, uh, for the second time of when Arteta is going to be sat and gone. So I'm just quote tweeting the poll. Um, so you'll probably end up with about 10% by the end of the night. I'll tell you what, right? I'm not going to stick a date on it because I already stuck a date on it. 27th of December. Mm. I didn't say what year though, did I? <laughs> <laughs> get, get our claws. I like that. T in the C's, eh? Terms and conditions. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Dean Smith's a better manager. Exactly. Dean Smith's had his pants down three times. In fact, four times for Ben Deer, if you include that. There you yeah. go. Yeah, there you go. Right, right. I think we'll uh, call it a day, guys. I'm sure, uh, Lee, you've got to have your dinner. I'm sweating. Yes. Like I need and to my go throat's killing me, man. I've got a banging sore throat, throat today. So all that shouting at you, Terry, has made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But, uh, um, no, look, I just... Hey, thanks again for coming on, mate. Really appreciate it. No, I appreciate you having me on. I'll come on anytime I'm not doing anything. I'll come on, man. No, right. I'm, you always know, welcome, Lee. You know that. Come on, bruv. You're always welcome, yeah. Um, yeah, and listen, yeah, now you know, really much appreciated. I just want to just uh, uh, do you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a bit of an ego maniac here. Big up to me because how I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I've heard some absolute nonsense and I've managed to keep my mouth shut. I'm so proud of myself. Yeah, you've done it. Yeah, a <laughs> so, couple of times. Listen, my nails. Well, I've got none. Um, but listen, uh, yeah. Can, we, can well, I just say this very quickly? Because I've just seen this on Twitter, right? Mm. This is how much Arteta rates the centre backs that he signed. Yeah, we're apparently linked to Ben White for fifty million quid. <laughs> It's probably a load of bollocks. And but... again, please don't listen to these ITKs. No, that's the, well, that's the Daily Mirror, so it is garbage, probably. But yeah, there you go. Anyway, big up for having me on. Big up to everyone in the chat. Smash the likes up, people. Come on, smash them up. Diesel, do you want to say um, who we've got coming on tomorrow? Yes. Um, well, so basically, guys, uh, as I promised, obviously, you know, to you guys and uh, I must say, if I'm honest, I'm going to say it while he's here on the stream with us now. A lot of inspiration from Lee because um, doing this isn't easy. And to do three or four a day, oh, my God. Um, we struggle with that, and there's two of us. <laughs> so I've got, I've got to say, mate, uh, big up to yourself. But obviously, you know, we've taken a leaf out of your book. And listen, there, if we're being honest... You know, there is an added incentive of us doing this because obviously it's Claude's legacy and we, we, you know, we keep saying that, you know, we want to protect it and we want to grow it. And the only way to do that is by plugging a lot more content, more than we've ever done before. Um, but uh, the difference is between us, Lee, um, compared to a lot of the other um, substandard piss poor channels out there who chat shit, um, is that we actually want the content to be decent quality and straight, well, you know, we shoot from the hip really so that's that's what we're going to do but tomorrow uh the stream we have uh a certain someone by the name of chris wheatley coming on to discuss some transfer news with arsenal yeah, about the arsenal. Tonight, then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, look, he's just emailed me and cancelled. No, but, uh, uh, but no, yeah, uh, he's coming on. He's obviously he's gonna uh. Tell us, obviously, yeah, what the uh, what the rumours are, what's obviously what's hot and what's not in the know. I think we call them ITKs. So, yeah, we're going to see. Here we tell. We're going to see what's going on. We're going to see, uh, yeah, if there's any truth to these rumours. What's going on with Bellerin? Xhaka, are these rumours true? Who's leaving? What's the chances of uh, them leaving? What's, yeah, what's on the ground at the moment, you know? So, let's see what Chris has got to say. Um... 7 o'clock, I think that is, tomorrow, mate. 7pm, yeah. 7pm, yeah, guys, obviously. So, yeah, like, share, subscribe. And I, I keep saying it every week. Uh, make sure you put your notification bell on, obviously, so when we do go live, uh, you'll be informed. Uh, also, uh, follow Lee as well. Um, 
sub to his channel. Got a great channel. I'll tell you, Lee, you're flying. Um, yeah, you're going all right, fair man. Play to you. Fair <laughs> play. <laughs> Uh, nearly on 50, 57 and a half on nearly on. But I just looked just then funny enough. I'm 29 away from 57 and a half. Everyone, oh, come on. 29 people. Let's go. 28 now. Go on. Anyone who ain't oh, 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 God, we might as well stay now. until he gets it. <laughs> come on, bro. Come oh, on, mate, please, I need to get a, a drink. Ah, uh, go on, man. I'm joking. I've come this put razor blades down my throat today. I don't know what's happened. Yeah. Uh, like um, I said, we can't thank you. <laughs> Helping us out, Lee. You've been a diamond, mate. Yeah, no, man. come on, man. Listen, you two are boys, man. Like, come on. I know we're all we got close, didn't we? Like, like, come on, bro. Like, you're winding me up. I'm gonna go now, but it's all banter, man. Listen, it's all laughs. Yeah, yeah. you two are sound as fuck, man. Both of you. So yeah, uh, I'm right. both of you. And I, I know the graft you're putting into this channel as well, man. So yeah, man. I'll always help you out if I can jump on, or whether it's just a text, like to say, "Oh, how'd you do this?" You know, you can text me. You know, you know that already. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we speak right. every day, anyway, pretty much. Yeah, we do the way. Joe, no worries. Nice one. Uh, Omar says, "Get yourself tested for COVID." Funny enough, I did a test before I come on here. Yeah, mm. never again. Ain't no way I'm sticking that thing up my nose ever again. No, I agree. no chance. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no chance. No, uh, I don't like that. Take the chat there, things all before we go, mate. Uh, LK thirty three. Thank you very much, mate. Who's the bigger club, Arsenal or Chelsea? Chelsea. Is that Chelsea. Chelsea at the moment. There you go. That's the legacy your manager's given us, Tell. And Emery. There you go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'll set her out. <laughs> right. Well, thanks a lot, everyone. We really appreciate it. Don't forget, we'll be back again at 7 o'clock tomorrow. And obviously, we've got the Euros coming up. So, we'll be doing a load of um, games over watch lawns for that. Big up time. These are all for being a referee, mate. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I'll be honest. I didn't really have to do much. Uh, so, I've just been a bit of a bystander. I've just been sitting here with me, Diet Coke, and me. My butter kissed cinema sweet popcorn, mate. So, I, I, yeah. listen, I've been jiggy, bro. I've been jiggy, mate. So, but listen, um, great debate, great debate. Some valid points made, some absolute tosh spoken. But, um, <clears throat> I just can't wait to get back into the ring with you, Tell. So, I'm sure we'll be doing that. Next at the minute, mate. Oh, oh, sweet. Uh, like I said, I, I was happy with 10. I'll be happy with 10. Uh, just before we go, I'll give the last word to you, Nintesh. Frauds. No problem. Hope you have a lovely day in the sun, in the garden. Don't forget to hit that dislike button on your way out. Thanks for watching as well, babes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> see you soon, babe. See you soon. All right. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Really appreciate it. Um, and like I said, everyone keep watching. Please hit the like button on your way out, and we'll see you again soon. I'll tell you. <laughs>